Hey YouTubers, this is Inch Na Alex on Inch95's channel, bringing you guys a deck of the month for May 2009. Uh, first, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Caleb Soban, uh, JT, Waffles, Lil One, uh, just everyone basically. Uh, keep on subbing, you guys. Um, trying to at least get 100. Um, so, uh, this month it's gonna be, uh, Synchro Monarchs. It's not PC Monarchs, like what JT did. I don't like to use the Destiny Hero engine. Um, but, uh, so, I actually don't have that much time right now. So, I'm actually trying to do this vid pretty quick. So, uh, there's only one card missing out of here, and it's a Crush card. Uh, I'm replacing that right now with a Trap Dust Shoot. So, uh, I don't have Crush yet. Uh, hopefully I can get one soon enough. And, uh, that's basically it. So, uh, here we'll go with the deck. So, for the monsters, we have three Caius, the Shadow Monarch. Great for removal, removes Stardust. Uh, your opponent takes damage. Two Ryzas, uh, great for top decking. I love it. And, uh, Zaborg, he replaces the third Ryza. He's also really good. If you run Chaos, you can choose to run Chaos Sorcerer in this. Oh, sorry about that. You can choose to run Chaos Sorcerer in this deck. That's why he's also in here. So, uh, he's, he's really good. He still pops a monster. Gores stops OTKs. Breaker, he's, uh, the MST monster of the deck. Cyber Dragon, really good. Special Summon, you can do it in defense. Tribute, mo uh, fodder. I run two Spies, uh, really good, uh, they're allurable if you like loot loot like end up ditching one or something like that for like something whatever like some retarded reason you only have one you can allure them or whatnot. Great for tribute fodder. Sangan, your basic searcher of the deck. Reaper, he's just great defense. Uh Plague Spreader, he's there to synchro and like if you have like two spies in your hand you can and he you have him in your graveyard. Top deck uh one of your spies and then bring him back and then if you haven't summoned like get your uh, like opponent to like attack your spy next turn or something like that great for synchroing two crevons uh he negates attacks he's just really good he he'll sit there the whole game most of the time if you can pay that long and you can teleport him out uh this is a surprise a uh, psychic commander i'm running him uh he's really good tech actually i like how he works like i can if i have like Cyber Dragon in my hand and no monsters, I can just bring Cyber out and bring Commander. Even with e Telly, I can bring him out. So, because you have like a couple level threes in here, so you can still go Android and you can go with him into a level eight. So that's good. Uh, Dandelion, he's really good. Uh, you can uh, pitch him or send him from your deck. I was I was gonna run Card Trooper in here, but like I might not. I might run Rikos eventually. But he's really good. Two free monsters. They can't be tributed that turn, so you can like set him. Or, like, if they attack it, you get two fluff tokens. Uh, you can synchro with them, you still get the tokens. Uh, you can wing blast them, all that other jazz. And then, finally, for the monsters, we have Treeborn Frog, your tribute fodder. So, that's it for the monsters. And then, for the spells, we have your basic engine for draw. We have two allures. Remove a dark. Uh, draw to remove a dark. Teleport gets your uh, Krebons and Commander out. Two soul exchange because I run six monarchs. Brain control, pay 800, take an opponent's monster. You can tribute them or just attack with them. Heavy storm and MST for uh, spell and trap removal. And monster born, obvious choice, bring back your monster or your opponent's monster. Oh, it's also really good with uh, Plague Spreader. You can do that too. And then for the trap lineup, it's really short. We have the obvious triple solemn for negators. Trap Dust Shoot, look at your opponent's hand. Every deck should probably run this. Like, e you can also run this and Crush. I would probably do that. I actually, I was... Uh, that, was a, that was a miswording before. I'll, I'll probably keep this in here and take something else out. So, I'll probably, like, take, like, one of the monsters out, probably, to put in a Crush. But this is really good. Look at your opponent's hand. It's good with Light Swarms and pretty much any deck. Side this out if you're not going first. Mirror Force... And uh, Tarantula for monster removal kills your opponent's monsters. Two bottomless. I was running three, but three was like, uh... I, I like two better, honestly. It's like more consistent like this. Remove an opponent's monster. Glads remove their bestiary. They scoop. Two wing blasts. Pitch your plague spreader, your dandelion. Pitching dandelion's like a plus two, because you get two monsters out. 
and they lose a monster. So that that's pretty good. And uh or like a or a they you top deck a card, not it doesn't have to be monster. It's just really good pitcher tree born, all that other cool stuff. And then finally we have two threatening roars to stop roars to stop those OTKs from Light Swarms, Glad Beasts. So uh that's it for the trap lineup. And then this we have your basic synchros, you have your Android, your Iron Chain. I like this actually a lot in Light Sworn. If if you they if they've gotten rid of like all their wolves, I'd sometimes bring this out and like if they're really low on cards, like I've like made them ditch a lot of their stuff, I'll just end up whacking them with Iron Chain. And then they discard a bunch of their stuff like Celestias, Lilas, Judgments maybe, Charges, all their useful stuff, and they end up uh with like monsters on the field that not only mill for them, but this also mills for them, so it makes them deck out faster. Gaia, uh, Revived King, uh, I don't bring them out too often. Goyo, uh, two Psychic Life Transfers, these are just in place of the Dark Strike Fighters I don't have yet, I'm gonna get some soon, traded them away. Rose, Blow Up Everything, two Dusts, a Thought Ruler, two Colossal Fighters, a Red Dragon, obvious for defense, removal, and a Geyseris, just because I can if I play uh, Gladiator Beasts, I can Reborn or Brain Control their Beast DR, and then Reborn or Brain Control another Gladiator Beast. So, that's it for the Synchros. And then, for the side deck, um, it has a, like, it's a little weird, but, like, you'll, you'll see it. Uh, first we have two Vanities Fiend. These are really good in a mirror match or against Light Sworn. Side out your, uh, Krebons, your Teleport, maybe your Plague Spreaders. And, uh, maybe Monster Born. Like, maybe Monster Born. Not always. Like, if you're going against a deck that really special summons like crazy, there's a really good with Soul Exchange. I'd usually take out, like, maybe a Caius and, like, as a Borg or something like that. Just as an example to, like... Because you only, you're only running two Soul Exchanges. Three Crows. Uh, these are really good, uh, against Light Swords and deck, uh, decks, again, that special summon a lot. Remove Malicious is perfect. That, tell Dad's still very much alive. Oh, sorry about that, Glare. Uh, it, it's just really good. Really, like, I actually like it. And it's a bird! I love birds. I have a parakeet. I don't know if you guys could hear it in the background. Uh, two Jujitsu ju Masters. These are really good against Glads and, like, well, not Light Swords. They're horrible against Light Swords because they top deck, like, they, they mill then turn, like, if a wolf whacks into it, it's... They not only is it a minus one for you because they kill your monster, but like it's just bad against Ice Worm. It's good against Gladiator Beast in some mirror matches, not all the time. Two Mobiuses against uh, Gadget decks and uh, decks that set a lot, like really unaggressive decks, uh, oppression decks, like all that. Two Divine Wrath. You could run three in place of maybe one crow, but I like two better against Light Swords, uh, End Phase, you can stop their milling, their effects, Judgment Dragon, uh, Dad, everything. This just, like, stops everything. It's, like, amazing. And then two Compulsories. I usually side this in, like, against almost every deck. These are really good. Uh, like, I, I'm not maining these just because I like Bottomless in the main right now. And then finally we have two Light Imprisoning Mirrors to stop Light Swords. So that that was the side deck. Um, that was actually everything I have for today. That was the segment. Oh, random Chimera Tech. That's pro. Whack. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna have some more videos up soon. Uh, just subscribe and, uh, I guess, peace, guys.